the U.S. Navy's first stealth sub, new Columbia-class missile submarine. The new generation Columbia-class stealth missile submarine to be operational by 2028 all the way to serve 2080s and beyond. It is intended to replace the existing fleet of Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines. The Navy has now issued at least one-fourth of the design work and begun further advancing work on systems such as a stealthy electric drive propulsion system for the emerging nuclear-armed Columbia-class ballistic missile submarines by 2021. Of the required design disclosures, drawings, 26% have been issued, and the program is on a path to have 83% issued by construction start, Bill Couch, spokesman for Naval Sea Systems Command, told. Designed to be 560 feet long and house 16 Trident 2D5 missiles fired from 44-foot long missile tubes. Columbia-class submarines will use a quieting X-shaped stern configuration. The X-shaped stern will restore maneuverability to submarines, as submarine designs progressed from using a propeller to using a propulsor to improve quieting. Submarines lost some surface maneuverability, Navy officials explained. In today's Ohio-class submarines, a reactor plant generates heat which creates steam. The steam then turns turbines which produce electricity and also propel the ship forward through reduction gears which are able to translate the high-speed energy from the turbine into the shaft needed to move a boat propeller. The electric drive system is expected to be quieter, that is, stealthier, than a mechanical drive system, a Congressional Research Service report on Columbia-class submarines from earlier this year states. Navy developers explain that electric drive propulsion technology still relies on a nuclear reactor to generate heat and create steam to power turbines. However, the electricity produced is transferred to an electric motor rather than so-called reduction gears to spin the boat's propellers. The use of an electric motor brings other advantages, using an electric motor optimizes use of installed reactor power in a more efficient way compared with mechanical drive submarines, making more onboard power available for other uses, according to an essay called Evaluation and Comparison of Electric Propulsion Motors for Submarines. Author Joel Harbour says that on mechanical drive submarine, 80% of the total reactor power is used exclusively for propulsion. With an electric drive submarine, the installed reactor power of the submarine is first converted into electrical power and then delivered to an electric propulsion motor. The now available electrical potential not being used for propulsion could easily be tapped into for other uses, he writes. Early procurement of missile tubes and prototyping of the first assembly of four missile tubes are supporting the proving out of production planning, Couch said. While the Columbia class is intended to replace the existing fleet of Ohio class ballistic missile submarines, the new boats include a number of not yet seen technologies as well as different configurations when compared with the Ohio class. The Columbia class will have 16 launch tubes rather than the 20 tubes current on Ohio boats, yet the Columbias will also be about two tons larger, according to Navy information. The Columbia class, to be operational by the 2028, is a new generation of technically advanced submarines intended to quietly patrol the undersea realm around the world to ensure second strike ability. Both the Pentagon and the Navy are approaching this program with a sense of urgency, given the escalation of the current global threat environment. Many senior DoD officials have called the Columbia-class program as a number one priority across all the services. The Columbia-class submarine program is leveraging enhanced acquisition authorities provided by Congress such as Advanced Procurement, Advanced Construction and Multi-Year Continuous Production. 
Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.